Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Satisfaction is the Death of Desire, the debut studio album by the band Hatebreed. Today we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the record, so decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. I've been a massive fan of this band since I can remember because my siblings were listening to it when I was growing up. I think the first time I've heard this record was in 2001 maybe even before that. This is the first album for this band, but not their first release. Before that they've released an EP called Under the Knife and two splits. What's even more interesting that this album features a big lineup shift. The original guitarist both left the band, also the second drummer left as well. So on this record we have completely new guitarists, Matt and Lou. Lou also played on Perseverance and then left the band. And for Matt, the guitarist, and Jamie, the drummer, this was the only Hatebreed record they were on. The only constant members in the band are Jamie Jasta, the vocalist, and Chris Beetle, the bassist. The album was produced by Steve, you might know him because recently I reviewed Rhythm of Fear, the third studio album by MOD, and he was the producer of that one as well. So when it comes to the production, it's tight, heavy and clean at the same time, it has that live recording feel to it, it brings a lot of energy into the sound of the band. Message is diverse, lyrics are mostly about becoming a better person, anti-religious shit, revenge stuff as well. Some people say this was created as a joke and the lyrics were just for fun, while others claim it's all serious stuff. I don't know where the truth lies, but I will just treat these lyrics like they are for real. Structure-wise the songs are pretty basic, intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, breakdown, it's usually like that, sometimes it's even simpler or slightly more advanced. Music of this record is described as beatdown hardcore, metalcore and hardcore punk. You can argue about the genres in the comments, I will just call it hardcore from now on. The album opens with empty promises, and what a beginning it is. I just love the drumming in that first section of the song. It prepares you for a heavy journey, which this album is. I enjoy the breakdown here, the guitar riffs, easy but effective, bass, great, drumming, amazing stuff, the vocals, classic Jamie Jasta style. It's hard to interpret the lyrics here, for me this is an anti-religious song, Organized religions claiming to save you, but what do they know? 11 out of 10, I think that Burn the Lies is about the same topic. Musically, it's way more vicious than the previous song. I love this final breakdown here. The verse is amazing, the vocal is beautiful, everything is just on point with this song. It fills you up with energy. 11 out of 10, Before Dishonor is a longer track and it features a more advanced structure. The lyrics here are about taking control of your life. My favorite part of this song is the chorus, the guitar riffs especially, and the fact that the intro of the song has the same guitar riffs that the final breakdown has. It's like it all goes full circle. I enjoy it a lot. 11 out of 10. Pure Tan yet again is a anti-religious song. I enjoy the lyrics here the most, and those cool melodies in the middle of the track, you know, ta -na 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 -na. This song was already featured on the EP a year prior to this album and I feel like it's not on the same level as the previous three tracks, but I still really dig it, it's a 9 out of 10. Conceived for an act of violence is a very serious song, I've heard some rumors that this is a track about Jamie's mother who was raped and he is basically a child of rape or some shit. I would take these things with a grain of salt because I am not sure if that's true or not. Still, the lyrics here make me quite uncomfortable, but I do enjoy the instrumental work a lot. It's very basic and easy to play on guitar. I've actually recorded several guitar covers of Hatebreed's music back in 2017, and this was one of them. Great song, 9 out of 10. Afflicted Past is more faster than the previous songs, it has more energy, I really enjoy this track, Again, the breakdown is my favorite part. The lyrical content here is similar to the third song. Basically, fight for your life, own up to your mistakes. 9 out of 10. Prepare for war is similar to the previous song. 
It's a short burst of energy that culminates in a breakdown. I enjoy it a lot. Lyrics yet again are about fighting for your own life. 9 out of 10. Not One Truth is one of the first songs Hatebeat has written. It was first released on a split back in 1995. I think that it's the weakest song on this record, but still it's great. It follows the same structure as Before Dishonor. 8 out of 10. Betrayed by Life is another banger. I love the breakdowns here. The lyrics are about basically moving on with your life even if life sucks. 10 out of 10. Mark My Words is similar to Prepare for War. I really dig this song, yet again the breakdown is my favorite part. 9 out of 10. Last Breath is one of the most recognizable songs from this band. The lyrics here are about people that are no longer with us. So basically it's a song where we honor and respect the dead. I love the drumming on this song and the guitar riffs. Everything is just amazing here. This is a classic that everybody knows, 11 out of 10. Burial for the Living is a song about revenge and it's my second favorite song on this record. The instrumental work here is just phenomenal, I enjoy every second of this song, especially the breakdown. I don't mention the vocals that much throughout this review, but I want you to know that throughout this record they are amazing. This track is legendary, 11 out of 10. I can say the same thing about Worlds Apart. I just enjoyed the instrumental work here a lot. This is the song that has the most punk feeling to it on this album. And that final breakdown is just obliterating everything. Amazing stuff. 11 out of 10. And the final song, Driven by Suffering, is my favorite song on this record. I love the lyrics here because they are basically about my life. When I'm struggling with something and I just don't have the energy to go on and I just give up. I always remind myself to push through because I know that many people want me to fail and I will not do that. And this song always reminds me of that. This is my personal philosophy and this song means a lot to me. My favorite part of this track instrumentally is that final breakdown. It has that ominous and evil atmosphere. It was a blast for me to learn this song on guitar 5 years ago so I could play that breakdown all the time. This is a legendary song for me, 11 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable and the flow is ideal. You're not going to skip any song here. Replayability, hell yeah, this is a masterpiece. I think it's a classic of hardcore music. I always come back to this album because it's very short and every song is memorable and has something to it. Even if they follow a similar structure, I just enjoy the lyrical content, the guitars, the drums, everything. Celebrate the anniversary with me by jamming this record today. It deserves some respect. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my other reviews. Bye!